Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The annual joint military training GMT between Indian Air Force and Royal Singapore Air Force RSAF has commenced at Air Force Station Kalaikunda in West Bengal on 3rd November after a gap of 2 years due to COVID-19 pandemic. Now this edition of GMT would be conducted over a period of 6 weeks. During the JMT, the Air Forces of India and Singapore would engage in various advanced air combat tactics. The RSAF is participating with its fleet of F-16 fighter jets and Indian Air Force will field its Su-30 MKIs, Jaguars, MiG-29 and LCA Tejas. The highlight of this exercise is LCA Tejas. Now recently, the LCA Tejas has also participated in Garuda 7 exercise which began on 26th October and culminate on November 12th. The Tejas is participating in this exercise along with Rafale Su-30 MKI and Jaguar fighters of Indian Air Force and Rafales of French Air Space Force. Now these are the two recent military exercises where Indian Air Force has fielded LCA Tejas which will help the fighter pilots to gain experience and military tactics against the opponent fighters. However, the one fighter regarding which Indian Air Force would like to know more is F-16 as it is the one of the best fighter jet in the inventory of Pakistan Air Force. In today's video, we are going to discuss in detail about the combat capabilities of F-16 Block 52 and LCA Tejas Mark 1 in operation with Indian Air Force. In the world of fighter jet, the F-16s are the best seller with nearly 2,242 planes in active service making up 15% of World Air Forces. Lockheed Martin has sold more than 4,604 F-16s around the world. The fighter jet has been in service for 43 years. Compared to F-16, LC Tejas' new platform with only 33 of them produced and 30 of them in active service. LC Tejas was built in 2015 whereas F-16 was built in 1978, almost 35 years before. The F-16 and LC Tejas both use fly-by-wire control system. The fly-by-wire replaces the conventional manual flight controls of an aircraft with an electronic interface. The development of fly-by-wire control system requires extensive knowledge of flight control laws and considerable amount of software code to be written for the flight control computers as well as its integration with avionics and other electronic system. Now, when this program started, ADA has zero experience in this field. While the CLAW team scientists were able to develop their control laws, they did not have real-time ground simulators to test them. India has to sought help from British Aerospace BAE and Lockheed Martin in 1993. A series of in-flight simulation tests of the integrated flight control software conducted on F-16 Vista that is Variable In-Flight Stability Test Aircraft Simulator in United States. The test pilot of F-16 Vista said that F-16 with the control laws of LCA Tejas has been handling better than the control laws used in F-16. This is also one of the reasons why the Tejas holds the record of zero crash till date. Now let's talk about the BVR capability of both the fighters. The three important features that we will discuss for BVR capability are radar, radar cross-section and beyond visual range missiles. The F-16 Block 52 is integrated with APG-68 radar which has a range of 105 km for 5 m2 aerial target. Now LCATS Mark 1 is integrated with ELTA ELM-2032 multi-mode radar which has detection range of 100 km for 5 m2 object. Now both radars are pulse Doppler radar, however APG-68 is slightly more powerful than ELTA ELM-2032 radar. While F-16 has a powerful radar, the aircraft has much larger radar cross-section when compared with LCA Tejas. Due to heavy use of composite in LCA Tejas, its RCS is less than half of that of F-16. The F-16 has an RCS of 1.2 m2 and LCA Tejas has RCS of just 0.5 m2. The difference is quite significant in beyond visual range combat. 
F-16 won't be able to detect LC Tejas unless it comes in a range less than 50 kilometers. However, LCA can detect it much earlier and will have BVR advantage. LCA is already integrated with IWER missile having a range of 100 kilometers. The F-16 of Pakistan Air Force are integrated with AIM-120C having slightly better range of 110 kilometers. However, this advantage will also be negated with the integration of Astra Mark 1 missile having a range of 110 km with LCA. Now, it is also noteworthy that effectiveness of beyond visual range missile is in its no escape zone. Beyond no escape zone, there is a fair chance that fighter can dodge incoming missile with maneuvers and countermeasures. Due to its large RCS, the F-16 will come much early in the no escape zone of IW missile when compared with LCA. Now clearly LCA Mark 1 has better kill probability in BVR range when compared to F-16. Now let's analyze the within visual range combat capability of both the fighters. In within visual range combat capability or WVR or dogfight, one of the most critical feature of fighter jet is its turn rate. Now, turn rate is ability of fighter jet to turn or change direction rapidly to perform counter offensive strike against the adversary fighter. Now, this is where F 16 excel. The LCA Tejas turns at a sustained rate of approximately 12 degrees per second at its limit load factor of 8G, which is same as MiG 21 and is significantly less. The F 16 can achieve 16 degrees per second at 9G load factor which means it can turn much faster than LCA. For a turn of 180 degree, LCA Tejas will take 15 seconds and F-16 is going to take just 11.25 seconds. One of the reasons of less agility in LCA is its conservative fly-by-wire control law. LCA Tejas has delta wing which by design has better instantaneous turn rate and poor sustained turn rate when compared with F-16 which has swept wing design. The lower sustained turn rate of LCA is a big capability gap when compared with F-16. However, the delta wing has better supersonic maneuverability than the swept wing fighters. It is also noteworthy that MiG-21 Bison flown by Wing Commander Abhinandan had similar sustained rate as LCA and it was able to bring down F-16 fighter jet in a dogfight. The outcome of a dogfight is always unpredictable. So if we look at the general characteristic of both the fighters, F-16 outperforms LCA Tejas in terms of engine thrust, speed and operational range. The Tejas has better survivability due to low RCS, better service ceiling and lower empty takeoff weight. The LCA Tejas has never been designed to compete with an air superiority fighter like F-16. However, one cannot deny the possibility of both the fighters locking horn in future. In that case, Tejas will have to count more on its BVR capabilities. The future version of LCA, which is Mark 1A, will have 43 improvements over its predecessors including a more powerful AES radar, unified electronic warfare suite and externally mounted self-protection jammer, instrument flight rules capability, onboard oxygen generator to name a few. The 83 TS Mark 1A on the order will have better survivability and capability. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.